But today what we're doing, we got the Diamond T fired up. That's old military truck. We got the Prentice log loader on the back of it. Got it fired up. We've been moving pine logs over in that pile. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna fire it up. We already got it running. Best cranking thing in the yard, let me tell you. And we're gonna back it up right here, load these big pine logs up. These things are massive, 16 foot, 20 inch diameter logs. They're gonna be some two by sixes, what we're cutting for a customer. And they're his logs and he brung them, so we're sawing them for him. He's also a good uh, friend of ours, a good logger. So he gets us logs out of the woods and time to time we saw some lumber for him. We got half of it sawed. The pile was all the way out to right here where I'm standing. You can see the, see the bare ground. But the remaining of what we got to saw right here is what I'm estimating 3,500 board foot right around in that range. So the first batch we cut, we cut 215 of them. So, and like I said, that's about half of it. So uh, we're gonna get them loaded up. We're gonna get them up there to the mill so we can get to cutting them. So y'all hang on. We're gonna get this log loader going and put it in action. All right, folks, we got our log loader in position right beside our pile how we want it. Now we're gonna take the old 600, gonna park it right over there beside it on the other side. Just grab them logs, swing them around, and load them up. Won't be disturbing the ground, doing what that piece of equipment's made to do. All right, folks, just to give you an idea about how massive this thing is, I'm standing on top of it, and it's 13 foot right here, so off the ground. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna put our outriggers down. We're gonna take these two oak logs off, and then we're gonna start loading up this pine over here to the side of it. So, y'all hang on, we're gonna show you what we're gonna do. So, folks, this is an old Detroit 653 power unit. This thing screams. It ain't like most ordinary diesels nowadays, um, high RPM, two-stroke diesel. So when I crank this thing up, it's gonna get loud and proud, and it's gonna smoke a little bit. It ain't smoking a little bit, or ain't leaking a little bit at all. We say it ain't a Detroit, so just gonna let you know what we got going on here. That right there is a load. Big old massive sound guys. All right, so folks, what we got going on, we just loaded up these pine logs. Like I say, these things are big. I wasn't kidding. Uh, 26 inches, uh, that's a big pine log, guys. And it's 16 foot. <laughs> there's three of them here, so there's two foot. All of them are right around that, that range. And these are the biggest logs we got out of this whole pile. Uh, so what we're gonna do with these is, we're gonna haul them up there first, that way they'll be at the back of the pile, and we're gonna saw them last. Uh, just because that's the roughest uh, you'll put on your equipment. Moving it, and sawing it, the whole nine yards, that's a heavy log. So before anything happens, you know, if, if something was to happen, like you have an equipment failure, at least those would be last, and you'd be sawing up the stuff that you know will go through there real easy and quick. These logs over here, I know y'all think a big log, it makes a lot of lumber, and it does. But a big log is a lot of work. Everything about it sucks. Everything's big, everything's heavy. Yeah, you yield a lot of lumber, but at the end of the day, folks, y'all can y'all can saw a log like this right here, two of them, get the same amount of lumber, and feel a lot better about yourself when you get done with it. 18 inches, uh, now this ain't the prettiest log. It's got a lot of knots on it, but like a log like this, I mean, even that, and that's a big one, but. 18, 16, 18, 20 inches. You can saw them all day long with our mill and that cooks AC36 and it just likes it. That's just the right size. Log turner kicks butt on it. 
and it'll turn them logs. But you know, that's a lot of weight, guys. And you know, when you're turning it, flipping it, you realize it out there on your mill. So uh, just gonna show you a little bit about what we got ahead of us. All this is mostly 16 foot. Got a few 12s in here where the top of the trees were. Got a lot of sawing to do, so hopefully in the near future, y'all be checking this out, watching the saw this stuff. But this is the process we got to go through. We come down here, we load it up, and you know, look at those logs, guys. Them things are massive. They're on the back of that F600, and they, just three of them take up the whole bed. Looks like something California Redwood or something. All right, y'all have a good one. Stay tuned.